now we will start today's class a happy morning to all of you i'm waiting for a reply happy morning ma'am good morning ma good morning happy morning ma'am yes now exams are just round the corner right the portion has been given i think the time table is also given yes so now i need to understand from you what does success mean to you what does success mean to you achieving something achieving something as in what better is from hard work and okay Miss. yes yes but Miss for me this is where in i i learn something at uh, at one point of time uh, at the same time it either helps me or the community okay anybody else in the morning we had a beautiful delightful discussion on this a delightful discussion and i thought you would do the same okay let me give you an example Walt Disney is known for his creativity. Yes or no? Yes, miss. Yes. Now, when he first started his job, he was turned down. He was not given a job because he was told he is not creative. If Walt Disney was not creative, I don't know who else could be. But did he give up? No. he continue to work yes now amitabh bachchan when he first started his career all india radio turned him down saying his voice was not good enough did that stop him from working no so what is success miss in this case it gi actually gives you the fuel to prove them wrong that what they did was for them was wrong and for it, uh saying to them just gave them a fuel to do so really because they felt he didn't have a good voice at that point in time but how did giving our best giving your best yes to prove yourself right that's what shri lanka has written Oza has written believing in oneself. Yes. Removing their misunderstanding. Sorry. Removing their misunderstanding because they have that misunderstanding that this person won't be able to do, but then that person does it. But I am not interested in removing anybody's misunderstanding. If you have a thought, I am no good as a principal. That's your problem. I need to do what I need to do, right? Are you able to get what I'm trying to say? Miss, if you say anything, कुछ तो लोग कहेंगे लोगों का काम है कहना छोड़ो बेकार की I am not going to sing anymore. Now come on, <laughs> I gave you enough hints. Come on. Basically, believe in yourself will be the believe main thing. Believe in yourself. and keep going ahead doing the right thing that is success hershey's how many of you like hershey's chocolates okay now hershey started a company not one one two three companies which failed they failed miserably before he started hershey's they failed miserably now did he give up he didn't give up that is why hershey's became a success so now i'm going to share the screen this could i just add a point here yes beta miss basically what we could say is like that the three business that he failed in not only uh, made him realize what he was doing wrong but at the same time he knew that the uh, the amount he has gone down or the things he has suffered through is the lowest he could go 
now everything whatever would come is more higher than correct that. in other words what you're trying to tell me is that when he failed three times he understood what he could have done right yes miss he yes. learned from his mistakes success is not just giving in to failure but to learn from the failure we'll go ahead and learn a little bit more about this so the mantra of success is what we're going to look at today and the exams are nearing and this is very very important for you now if you had a magic wand which had a power to make it happen abracadabra what would your wish be what would you want to do think you had a magic wand miss may i yes please miss i will like to make people uh, understand or maybe like put this belief in their mind that environment is important All at right. the same time first as you uh, will, first you will speak to donald trump no miss no no we should because he believes environment is not important <laughs> i was just talking in a light way go ahead go ahead bharat was speaking is it yes miss okay alright bharat go ahead ma'am Ma yeah with the help of that magic stick stick i would make understand people that we need to conserve resources such as electricity water etc okay girls what would you do with the magic wand the you would um, want i would beautiful woman on earth why not i would like to remove the miseries of the world Miseries of the world. How lovely is that? Um, um. Yes. Yes. Ma'am, I would like. Um, first of all, I would wish for the best of health for my parents and all people in the world um, on basis of health, mental health, physical health, social health. Wow. Wow. Yes, ma'am. Excellent. Ma'am. Ma One. Minute. Yeah. Go ahead. Then I would uh, remove uh, negativity from the world, like politics, nepotism, etc., from this world. You, I love the responses. Now I have one more story to tell you. You've heard of King Midas? Most people say Midas. It is pronounced as Midas. Okay. Now King Midas yes, was a greedy king, and he was given a wish. and he he could take whatever he wanted so the greedy king that he was he said i want whatever i touch to become gold so be it so he went around touching the plants touching this touching that everything became gold and he was very happy and then his daughter comes and touches him what do you think happens the so daughter it, turns into gold the daughter turns into gold and king midas realizes his folly so now sorry so whatever you want in life is not going to be given to you i just skipped a couple of slides so we will revisit it when we go there just keep the story at the back of your mind now i have these handsome actors here looking at you have a good look at them Shall I move to the next? Yes, miss. Okay, you can recognize some of them by looking at their physique. These are the beautiful actresses. Had a look at them. Okay, so now you answer these questions. The first words that came to your mind when you saw these pictures. What was your impression about their physique? would they have had to take an effort to look like this why would they take an effort must to be in the best shape to give their best why you and i do we need to do that to be happy because that makes them happy must to be fit you think they wanted to be happy that's why they did it or they did it for something else they did it for work but work which they love which makes them happy okay is it necessary for me to do the workout and things like that and develop a physique like that no, no not necessary most definitely not most definitely not because it is the work that requires okay what else 
So is that their feeling of success? Some extent. To some extent, yes. So that is what it is. Now I come back to some more here. Do you get negative thoughts sometimes? Look at this. Look at this uh, examples that are given here. Do you also get thoughts like, "Oh my God, I have left out that one chapter today in physics, and we have a physics exam. And today, if I get questions only on that chapter, what am I going to do? Are I may fail or jaunga? Do you get thoughts like that? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. I guess. I guess. I guess. Yes. So now, if you get thoughts like that, is it wrong? No. It's definitely not wrong. In life, the law of life says, in life you will not get what you desire. Now complete the sentence. Come on, complete the sentence. In life, you will not get what you desire, but what, what you deserve. What you deserve. So, what you deserve is dependent upon what, children? On how much preparation we have done for it. Yes. Hard work. Hard work. Effort. Yes. So these are the things that measure what you deserve. Passion. Passion. Yes. Love Ability. for what you do. Yes. Ability. What did you say? Ability. Ability. Yes. Ability. Passion for something. Love for something. These are the things that matter. Yes. Yeah. Yes, Bharat. Miss, it was darshan, miss. Darshan. Okay. Darshan. Tell me. Calibur. Yes. I I meant to say that. Caliber for doing different things. Yeah, capacity, ability, capability. These are all things that matter. Yeah, we will learn a little bit more about it. Now, look at this and look at King Midas and tell me where did King Midas go go wrong? Messi did not deserve that gold. But he only went for what is desired. He did not stop to think that he can only get. You remember what Gandhi ji said. There is enough in this world for every man's need, but there is not enough for every man's greed. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So in life, we get what we deserve, which is contingent upon the kind of work that we do and what we want to do. Okay. Let's go ahead. How many of us can say? that we are masters of our thoughts and our unwanted thoughts do not come to us at all is it possible no ma'am not possible it is not possible no we keep getting these negative thoughts but when we get these negative thoughts we have to try and convert them into positive thoughts all right now to ensure that there is a balance in the world there is a law what law is this here? Every time I'm talking about law. What law is this? You must be happy with what you have. Mm -hmm. You want a story? <laughs> Do you want a story? Yes or no? Yes. 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 No, you have, you've heard of... Um... Okay, let me tell you another one now. There is a night watchman who carries a lantern and he walks around. And this night watchman has got three sides covered. The lantern's three sides are covered. So there is no light reflecting from the three sides. Only the front portion is open. And he goes around mm -hmm. holding the lantern. What happens is you can see light in front, but you don't know who is carrying it. If you want to see his face, what do you need to do? Turn the lantern, 
then the rest of the world is in the darkness and only his face can be seen. So what is the message that I'm trying to give you here? What is the message? To lead in a positive way without getting distracted by the darkness. Sorry? To uh, lead in a positive way without getting distracted by any darkness. No. I'm Mesh. giving you an example. When you do something wrong, we make you feel some shit. Balance that we should not be like, selfish and also you know, be mindful of others. You should be mindful of others. Very well said. Maybe even be when mindful more said, of yeah. others. You need to introspect. So you can't keep doing things because you want to do it. You also need to be compassionate and you need to be mindful of others. Beautifully said. Beautifully said. Okay, so now... Mish, could we also say this that uh, all uh, well, uh, in our life, in everybody's life actually, yes. uh, is full of darkness and we have to find that ray of hope or that ray of light. Uh, now, you're, you're making an attempt to look at it like that, but everybody's life is not full of darkness. There are ups and downs in everybody's life. It is for us to look at what we can make and encash it to the best of our ability. It is not full of darkness. Trouble comes your way. But it is up to you to decide to work on it. There is a story. Another one. I had not planned on telling this, but it suddenly came to mind. Um, Marble was brought in. So normally marble is brought in from where? Rajasthan, is it? I don't know from where. Um, marble was brought. And one part of that marble which came in was made into an idol. And another part of the marble which came in was made into the floor. So the floor has a talk with the idol. The floor says, you and I, Deko Tumara Naseeb, Deko Mera nasib. I am made into a floor and people walk over me. And you are made into an idol and people worship you. And both of us were born at the same place and we were brought from the same place. Tumara nasib deko, mera nasib deko. Now, the idol turns around and tells him, you are wrong. It is nothing to do with the nasib. People asked you and people asked me. And you said, you don't want to go through the trouble because they will take the chisel and hammer you and make you go through pain. You said you are fine as you are. But I said, I can go through the trouble. Because I said I can go through the trouble, I am where I am today. Now, if you were to say, I don't want to study. You wouldn't be able to get better. Are you able to understand what I'm saying? The difference between the floor and the idol? Are you? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes. Okay, there are some nine messages. Let me quickly see what they are. Chat. Uh, All right. Fine. Miss, I couldn't get you. Could you repeat the difference between both of them? The difference between being an idol and the floor. The idol decided to go through more efforts. It decided to go through more trouble to reach where it wanted to reach. Whereas the floor said, I'm happy to be where I am. And people continue to walk over it and it remained a floor. Okay. So if you want to be successful, what do you need to do? You need to pass through things and get in, get right. into trouble to get it out. Not trouble, get into more efforts. Yes, yes. You're not getting into trouble. 
you're going through more pain you're going through more efforts to get what you want okay all right now there you is have to lady. go through you have to go through a lot to find success correct now this lady salada marada timmakka salada mara she is from karnataka near tumkur district this couple when they were young now right now she is 106 years old when they were young i don't know if she is still alive um they childless couple those days when people didn't have children they were ridiculed by the society she tried to even kill herself because she was so hurt that she couldn't have a baby but then they decided if they didn't have a baby they could do something else for the society and they started planting trees and they started planting banyan trees along the side of the road and she has planted almost 400 trees she is called the salada marada timmakka the one who plants trees in a line and also called alada marada timmakka which means the banyan tree timmakka who plants the banyan tree two years ago she was given the she was awarded the um bharat ratna i think and our president awarded her and he said kindly stand for the photograph and this lady the illiterate lady that she is she blessed him look at that picture and she went there to receive her bharat ratna no chappals on her feet is that success yes miss yes no yes yes miss yes, yes. yes. Involved? is there money involved no no it was absolute selfless service to the society okay let's go to the next one so rule number 1 i have to take the effort and nobody else can take it for me everybody needs to do what he or she needs to do you can't have the genie coming in and doing some work for you and get you to get the get the uh results that doesn't work there is one example one more story <laughs> now amitabh bachan's father used to go for a walk he would go for a walk every morning and one during his walk he found a stone which he felt would be would look good in his garden but the stone was big there was no way he could bring it home and he used to go for a walk early in the morning he didn't want to wake up anybody and ask them to do that work for him so what he did was every day he would push the stone a little bit he did it over a long period of time and finally managed to get the stone into his garden what is the moral here Wish to be self-reliant and never give up. Okay, to be self-reliant and step by step you will make it. Yes, step by step you will make it. Small steps at a time you can get there. What else? What else, children? What else? We should uh, always don't need someone by our side. Some things could be done by yourself. Absolutely, you can do what you want to once you've made up your mind. You don't need somebody to do it for you. You can do it yourself. That's what it means. Okay. Now, so efforts. Who has to take the effort? Bharat just said. nobody else can do it for you you have to do it yourself now steve jobs you have heard of steve jobs right yes miss at 56 he was a multi billionaire but he also had pancreatic cancer and he was on borrowed time and when he was going through his last phase he realized one thing he said to himself i'm not quoting this because i don't remember the quote he said he spent his life in trying to do the work 
and he didn't enjoy life as he ought to. All the money, all the monetary things, for instance, you can ask somebody to drive the car for you, but you cannot ask somebody to take your disease for you. Can you? Nobody can say, no, please, somebody is getting pancreatic cancer, take my pancreatic cancer. But if that fellow were to say, my BMW is, I want somebody to drive the BMW, I will also say, yes, I will drive. Isn't it? So what he said was, during your life, you need to decide that you want to stay healthy, you want to be successful, and you also want to have fun. You cannot ignore health and success at the cost of having fun. Are you with me? Yes, oh, I sure. want to have fun today. Let us party. Let us do this. Study Gaya Bhar. No. That is not the way it should be. You need to take care of your health. You need to take care of your success. And you also need to have fun. Fun in what way? Fun in building friendships. Fun in enjoying your life. Fun well, in even fun in doing work. You, that's what I was coming to. People ask me sometimes, how is it that you have so much of energy? And my answer is very simple. I enjoy doing what I'm doing. So I have energy. At the end of the day, I still feel that I can go for my walk and do that. After having spent the whole time in the school, I can still go for my walk in the evening. Actually, it's, it's the way, like, if you like to drive a car, for example, you yeah. drive it a lot then, and you don't feel bored, neither you feel tired doing that. It's what you like to do. Yeah. It's your passion in life that gives you the energy. Okay? So let's go ahead. Now you have to be self-driven. I'll give you an example. Supposing we are going for a picnic. Let's say we are going to Lonawala for a picnic. Okay? The buses come there and we are all excited. You all get into the bus and the driver comes, tries to start the bus and he says, Are battery down hai. Chalo, bachelo, niche utro, dakamaro. Would you do that? Would you do that? No, yes, ma'am. Maybe it depends. You don't want to go to a picnic? And one second. I mean, if even if the driver is instructed, then we, 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 I will not push others. No, no, you will get down from the bus and push the bus, no? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Yes, Drive battery down here, niche utro, dhaka maro, kisko? That was okay. Okay, you will all do that, right? Yes, and yes. in five minutes, the bus starts. The bus comes to life. Okay, so everybody gets back into the bus. And we go on our picnic and have fun. But supposing the driver says, Are battery chori ho gai, abhi to bus nahi jayegi. Are you willing to push the bus to Lonawala? No. No. Nobody. Nobody. It's the same thing that is applicable here. There are some children who will not do what they are supposed to do. They will only do pass on a ke liye kitna padna hai? 35. Okay. Yeh chapter important hai, yeh chapter important nahi hai. I'll study this, I'll study that. Okay, okay. Toss karte hai, chalo, yeh study karte hai. So they will only study so much that they can pass. There are some who will do what the teacher tells them to do. Teacher says, you can get 60%, you have to study. He will study 60%. There are some who will study more than what the teacher says and get 90%. Now, children, what I want you to understand is 90% child will do well. 60% will also do well because he's listening to the teachers. This 35% fellow or the girl, as the case may be, how much can the teacher push to see that he passes or she passes. Is it possible? 
it is like the bus which has come there without the battery. So these children need to work hard. They have to develop the self-drive. Only when they develop the self-drive will they be able to succeed in life. Is that clear so far? Yes, miss. Yes, miss. Now, self-driven can be compared to a button start as opposed to a kick start. You remember those old scooters where you had to kick Sometimes in the morning, yes, you have to kick five times, six times to start it. But yes, today yes. you have a button. You press the button and it starts. And it starts. Today you have cars also where you press the button and the car starts. Yeah. And this has to be sustaining. Not that one day you will study. You can't be doing it just before the examination and expect that everything will go fine. It has to be sustainable it has to be consistent and try to develop a feeling of enjoyment when you study don't study oh padna na yaar oh god padna aaj to karna exam if you're going to do that there is also something called auto suggestion you will end up believing that it's not worthwhile i'll give you an example of rutuja later now efforts are required and between what we do and what we can do all issues can be resolved now what is what does this mean between what we do and what we can do what does it mean yes and may i say yeah it this difference means that what we do it means that what we are usually doing and what we can do that means what what is our ability and capability to do absolutely right darshan absolutely right you have the capability to do it but you don't want to do it and you only do this much so you get 35% marks so if you are capable of getting 80 put in that effort put in that effort so you can get 80% marks and do well so it should also be refined what does it mean refined means not scared of failures who was that person who said i know 99 99 ways different ways by which it does not work <coughs> 99% perspiration and 1% inspiration who was this who said thomas alva edison he found out 99 ways by which it does not work he does not look at it as failed 99 times hershey is failed 3 times we do he doesn't look like that he says he knows why the business did not work 3 times and that is how hershey's became a success are you with me so there is no negativity here so when there is no negativity there is you become immune to hurt nobody can point out to you and say that eh tere ko itna hi mila nobody can say that because you know that you have tried if you have not tried then it means that you have not used the right ladder on the right wall why is it called a ladder here because ladder is used for a step to success it is a symbol for that a step to success so if you are using the ladder on the right wall then you will be immune to hurt and you will not be scared of failures and you will also go closer to success so far so good yes miss only two children replied yes ma'am yes ma'am yes miss thank you now consistency is important now i believe there was a i have not heard of this but somebody was telling me this um yajwendra singh i believe he used to be a he is a bowler and he holds a record for catching the maximum catches in a cricket match has anybody heard of him no because he did that once in his life 
there is no consistency so if you are not consistent and you do it only sometime then it doesn't become a habit when it becomes a habit that is when it becomes a part of your nature i have a habit everything in my house has to be kept in the right place if it is in if the place is changed i have a problem even if there is no light in the house i know exactly where to go i know where the matchbox is kept i know where the candle is kept and i can find out i can give it to you because i want everything to be kept in the same place that's my habit so when habit when when you're consistently doing something it becomes a habit when you're consistently sitting down to study at 8 o'clock in the night 8 to 10 you study then it is a habit with you and that becomes a nature that is why the place where we stay is called habitat and we have to be consistently doing this work clear can we go ahead yes 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 now now what i want you to do is to write down one desire of your life where you will implement c r s e what the c r s e stand for c for consistent r for refined s for self driven and e for effort so in other words they are consistent refined self driven efforts all that we have been talking about so far efforts what kind of efforts consistent refined and self driven switch off your mics please there is somebody who is talking in the background okay so write down one desire of your life where you will implement now this is a story i want to tell you children this is rujita rujita sorry rujita rujita in the ssc examination please mute your mics in the ssc examination of 1920 she got 99.6% and she talked the rural oh, maharashtra rural maharashtra ssc results what is her ambition in life she wants to become a doctor why does she want to become a doctor her sister wanted to be one she couldn't become one so she wants to become a doctor and what is her day like she gets up early in the morning finishes her daily chores travels 10 kilometers by bus to go to school because her village does not have a school and whole day she is in the school in the evening at 4 o'clock the school gets over she gets into the bus comes back 10 kilometers and she has a timetable according to which she has to study she has never come second in class she's always come first she wants to be a doctor and she wants to study hard to meet that goal now she was asked a few questions whether she has gained anything from the life skills she said yes she has whatever classes are happening there is just as you said there is some positivity she also gained from it but she gained a little bit more than what you do because she comes from a rural background where she does not have all the good facilities that you have you don't need to travel 10 kilometers to go to a school and she makes a timetable and she studies according to that her inspiration was her sister my sister was my inspiration 
she never used to allow us to allow us close to her when she was studying she was my idol she used to study said don't come near me i'm studying i never studied for marks i always wished to drive inspiration and i did it for that my teachers and friends also inspired me by solving my doubts my younger sister is also the same she was interviewed i can give you the um the link if you want to see it so she watched it and she loved it and um, she drew the inspiration from it and she wants to be a doctor and she also drew her inspiration from the life skill classes if she missed her timetable what would she do unknowingly sometimes she would miss it she said knowingly she would never miss it unknowingly sometimes she would miss it and when she missed it she would work on it the next day when we heard the interview there were tears in my eyes this is a child who does not have the kind of benefits that you have look at the house look at the background and the struggle that she's going through to be a doctor now i want you to write down one desire of your life where you will implement c r s a c for consistent r for to find s for uh, self reliant and e i e i don't know okay, one minute but class professor sorry children yeah go ahead go ahead uh, and uh, c is c is for consistent r is for refined s yes. is for uh, self reliant and yes. i don't have idea about e c is for effort effort e is for effort okay all right now you remember i had asked you to make a video or an essay to be submitted yes ma'am darshan has given how many of you have given children it's our india it's our india please make it you can write an essay if you want you can make a video if you want submit it you can give it to me i will submit it so many schools have given it and i feel bad that i am a volunteer also and i'm working for this organization now as a volunteer i have asked for them to allot of my own school so that i can tell my children and my children are the ones who are not taking it up it's really very very um upsetting okay all right uh ocd oza kal kalila oza ocd why is it ocd obsessive compulsive disorder Yes, can you be a little louder and tell me why it is OCD? Miss, I did not write it right now. Whenever you had written, but I saw it now. It doesn't matter. Why is it OCD? You want to speak about it? All right, we'll let it go. Anyway, children, it's time up. We'll stop here. What did you like about today's lesson? Ma'am, we have got inspiration, uh, and ma'am, I would also like to tell you, I had asked us to keep that Veda story in our background mind. You will continue it. Okay. Um, Miss, can you uh, yes? Can you uh, repeat about that video? What video we have to send? I don't remember. Ruth, Ruth Jha's video. I don't have a link right now. I will uh, see how I can reach out the link to you. And I had told. No, 
Yes. The video is which Darshan submitted now, which you said last about time. About India. About India. You remember I had taken that session on India. Yeah, I remember, but I don't remember like exactly. I have got a video on India on YouTube. My lecture is put up there. Just go have a look about India of twenty forty seven. You remember? Bharat at twenty forty seven. I had taken a session with you. Not yes, our no. Bharat here. It's India at twenty forty seven. So go to YouTube, check out that video, and make a video or write an essay and submit it to me. This video, as in speaking about India, right? Yeah. Now, Rathbar Rama and Sunke Subha Utte Pucha. What is this, children? You can uh, stop the recording, uh, Surbi. Okay, so you make that 